Hello, my lovely Aries. This is your reading for May 2019. A lot of cards slipped out there. I'm going to go ahead and put those back in the deck. I know I have been absent on you guys, but I am here now. Okay? I pray everyone has been doing well. <clears throat> We're going to jump right into this. For my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Aries. Please show me love messages for Aries. Alright guys. Let's see what's going on for you guys for the month of May. What's going on for my Aries for May? Please show me messages for Aries for May. The Nine of Pentacles. I see a lot of you are uh, working on your money, um, working on yourselves, feeling more confident here, okay? Um, also seeing that you are, a lot of you guys are open to relationships at this point, okay? You've gotten to a point in your life where um, you're comfortable in your own skin, basically. And I feel like you guys are ready for uh, uh, something at it. Then we have the sun there. I feel like you're looking to involve someone else in your life. For sure. Looking for that, that tenth pinnacle. Okay. Very committed, uh, loving relationship for a lot of you. Some of you are just looking to basically... Make sure your home is like everything that, that you have pictured it or wanted it to be. But I'm definitely feeling that some of you are um, longing for someone. Somebody that I feel like is at a distance. Maybe uh, the mother or the father of your children. I'm definitely getting that a lot of you want to um, build with someone. One to stay out. So we have the Eight of Cups. I feel like there's somebody else too that may be coming into the picture for you guys that you don't, that you won't see. And I feel like this is somebody that has left previously. Piscean energy there with Leo, Virgo energy. I feel like um, there's someone coming in that you definitely will not see coming in the month of May. We have the Nine of Swords. Somebody that was thinking long and hard about approaching you guys here. They've been worried. Whoever this individual is, they've been worried. Um, they felt like, you know, all was lost, that there was no coming back, that you're happy without them. I don't see that you're unhappy without them. I just see that you guys have been working on yourselves and it's, you've gotten to a point where, yeah, you're comfortable. Um, just being by yourself, yeah, but I think now you're more open to allowing someone else in, and I feel like this is um, quite possibly a Leo individual, um, but there is definitely somebody that's longing for you guys here. Please show me more about this Nine of Pentacles energy. Seven of Swords. I don't feel like this is you guys at all, to be honest with you. I feel like this is somebody else here. This is somebody else here that they know they did you wrong. They know this. This is why they've been worried. This is why they are worried. Because they did something here with this Seven of Swords energy that... Um, 
was was very underhanded. Now they're longing for you guys. They feel like you're happy without them. I feel like this is definitely you here. With the sun energy, I feel like you guys are um, you are like exuding this this happiness, this awareness, this enlightenment, and this person. Their energy is all around you. It's encompassing you. This person is longing for you guys here. Please show me more about the sun here. The three of wands. This is definitely you. Definitely you. I feel like you've decided that you're only gonna like be involved in in situations that you know can't expand your happiness you're waiting on what you deserve because in the meantime I feel like you guys are good you're not gonna settle for less and you're not just wanting anything or anybody just to say you have somebody okay you're looking for something in particular and I feel like you're exuding that energy you are putting that out to to your environment okay you're attracting in what it is that you actually want. And that is happiness, enlightenment, longevity. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I have all these cards that dropped, fell out. Hang on, guys. Hang on one second. I feel like there's somebody here that has a lot to freaking say. And as I say that, I'm looking at the Eight of Wands here. Seven of Cups. Ace of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. Somebody wants you as an option. They do. They do. And I feel like this person is definitely watching you. Like, not necessarily, you know, sitting outside of your house watching you, but like observing how you have um, grown and the things that you're doing and, you know, how you're appearing differently in their eyes. What is this? Let's see. The Knight of Wands there. Look at this coming back in. This is Piscean. I feel like Leo energy under the Eight of Cups. Somebody is definitely, definitely attracted to you. I feel like you guys will not see this coming. They're coming in hot and heavy. Very anxious, very excited about approaching you guys this person may definitely live um far away from you or either they are like emotionally um distant from you or have been okay then the nine of cups energy here we have the queen of swords somebody's definitely been is worrying in this situation here and i feel like you know this person has caused you a lot of grief they caused you a lot of grief. And I don't know if you're, I don't feel like this welcoming energy towards this individual, uh, this air energy. This is somebody that you've had um, difficult conversations with, difficult communication with. Somebody that you felt like was was flighty that they weren't all in uh, this relationship somebody that's really trying not to um, they are trying not to acknowledge their feelings is the word I'm looking for okay we have Gemini, Aquarius energy here, Pisces, I feel, um, Leo energy is here, and Virgo energy. Hmm. Who's coming towards Aries? What energy is coming towards Aries? What energy is coming towards Aries for the month of May? What energy is coming towards Aries for the month of May? And then we have the Queen of Wands. <laughs> this is the energy. This is you guys. This person's over here feeling down in the dumps and, and not knowing how to approach you. And basically it's like they're not confident, I feel. 
and they're still not acknowledging their feelings the ace of wands you guys are looking to start over you're looking for something t totally different t totally different and i feel like you're looking for some excitement in your life okay you're looking for excitement you're looking to start over um eight of pentacles you guys definitely are exuding this confidence about yourselves here. And this person, they see it. They see it. Okay. And then we have the Queen of Cups. Hmm. And I feel like this person that really cares for you. They want to... Um, they're, they're very attracted to you. And they see you as very loving, very caring, as somebody that is always there for the people that's around them, regardless. You know, if they need something, they know that you'll be there. At least that's the way it's been in the past. And I feel like this person's working a lot. I feel like you guys are working a lot too. But I feel like they're working more so to not acknowledge their feelings, to, to not have to approach you guys because this person has a hard time really expressing themselves emotionally. And I feel like they're looking for you to come to them. They're looking for you to come to them. They know you care for them because a lot of you guys can say that you don't but I feel that you do you may not be looking for this person to come back but there is definitely a sense of still caring for this individual that hurt you very deeply here whether they cheated on you lied to you or just just you know just treated you badly talked to you badly okay um, those feelings I feel are still there. I don't think you're waiting on them. I think you're looking for something T totally different. Um, but they are definitely, they definitely have a watchful eye on you guys. Watching you shine. Okay. So this Virgo energy here, uh, Cancer energy is here as well. You guys may have somebody else here too. There may be two or even three different individuals at play for you guys here. Hmm, let me see something here. Please show me more about this Queen of Chalices. Please show me more about the Queen of Chalices. Please show me more about this Queen of Chalices. Six of Swords. This is you guys here. This is you. It's like you were forced to, you know, separate from this energy where, you know, somebody really kind of did the dog to you is how you feel. Um, for lack of a better word, but it's like it, you had to move on. You had to move on here for your own mental health. But definitely, you know, this was something that was very hard for you. You had to work on this. You had to build yourself back up to do this energy of feeling confident and knowing that you you deserve so much more than somebody lying to you or not treating you well and disrespecting you and all that other stuff. This took a lot of effort for you. This took a lot of effort for you. This individual knows that this they've seen your hard work and this is why they feel like Aries is not going to take me back after all the shit that I put them through. This is you. Every woman or every man here. I'm feeling like you guys got it going on here. 
and you've got people noticing. Okay, so that is what I have for you guys.